from Anshe Svar Beth El Emeth Congregation. It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of Parshat Mishpatim, the mandate to heal. The Parshat speaks about two people who fight against each other, and then one falls down, he can't get up from, from bed. But then, eventually, he's, he, he's healed. At that point, Yeshiv Toyitain, he has to pay for workman's comp, and the time he lost from work, he was furloughed, and Rapo Yerape, and he, he shall surely be healed. What does it mean? They shall surely be healed. So Rashi says, it's just like the Targum says, just like the Aramaic translation says, that the Agar Asya Yishalem, you should pay for the, for the fee for the doctor's bills. The Rashi in Baba Kama on this Gemara, on this Pasuk, says that we don't say that Rachmana Mase, Mache Ve'iu Mase. I mean, after all, if God decided that he's supposed to be sick, why should I pay the bills? God wants him to be sick. No, we say he could, he may indeed be healed. In fact, the Gemara Baba Kama there, 85a, says that, that it, the permission is given, that in fact, that the, the uh, doctor has a right to do the healing, uh, to, to help out. The question is, does he have a mandate? We'll get to that shortly. The Ibn Ezra, the Ibn Ezra says that, uh, well, how can you heal after all? Doesn't God do the healing? Ani Hashem Rofecha, God is the, is the doctor. He says, well, you see, the thing is, it depends if the inner, inner illness or, out, out, or out, 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 outward illness. If he has bruises on the outside, so that you go to the doctor. But for things that are inside, that's Biyad Hashem. That's in God's hands. Today we would say, whatever the doctor can handle, that's in the doctor's hands. Whatever is beyond the doctor, when the doctor says, look, now it's in God's hands, that's, uh, that's in God's hands. The, um, the Ramban says that, that what we mentioned before, that you can't, you can't the person who, uh, who did the, did the uh, damage to the other person, he can't say, well, look, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to pay for that. Uh, he says, no. You, uh, you have a right to demand payment for the, uh, for the, uh, the doctors. Um, it, is, uh, it must be done. Now, also, the Ramban points out, points out something that sometimes people who are trying to you know, abuse the insurance system will think about. They say, well, I'll take the insurance money, and then I'll use it however I want. I don't need to go to the doctor. I'm, I'm okay the way I am. He says, no, the money must go to the doctors, not to you. You can't get a lump payment for the theoretical doctor bills. You have to pay the doctor directly. The Ramban in Leviticus, in Parshat Bechukotai, where it talks about, um, about all the different curses that could befall the Jews and all the different blessings that could befall the Jews, he says, look, I mentioned the verse in this week's Parsha that, that one day God will remove all illness from you. So what's this business of doctors? If God is the healer, it says in Parsha B'Shalat, God, God is the healer. So what's going on? So he says, look, uh, the, in general, he says, if the Jews would be complete, in other words, all the Jews would keep the Torah, then we wouldn't need any doctors. We, we, we wouldn't work according to the laws of nature. We wouldn't get sick. Our country wouldn't get sick. There wouldn't be political, military problems. Not the, not the community, not the individual. God will remove all impediments. And, he says, if you're truly righteous, like the people in the, in the days when there was prophecy, if you were, uh, then it, all you needed to do was, was speak to the, the prophets and they would help heal you. They'd speak to God. But uh, Chizkiah once made a mistake and he, 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 he the Chalyo Lodar Hashelokim, it says in the Yamim in Chronicles, that he didn't go to God, he went to the doctors. So, uh, for people on the Chizkiah's level, in the days of Chizkiah, in the days of Isaiah, this is not appropriate to, uh, to go to the doctor. But in our days, we have no choice. So uh, he says that, now, when he says in the Gemara that, that we have a right to heal, that's an assuming that we got sick. 
we got sick, that means we're not living on that level of the great prophets or the, of, of a perfect Israel. And then we're getting sick. We're already getting sick. Then, you, then the doctor cannot say, well, look, I'm afraid I might, hurt, I might hurt him. I don't want to do any harm. No, the doctor should get involved. And also you can't say, well, God is the healer, so I, why should I do any healing? God will heal him. No, that's what we do. Uh, we, we have to get involved. You, after all, the Torah is not written in a way that says, well, if you have a problem, don't worry, there'll be a miracle to take care of it. The Torah is written uh, understanding the regular normative uh, behaviors. The, um, the Gemara in, in the Darim actually mentions that, um, that you, sh- you should really theoretically do your doctor's job for free. Uh, now, whatever payments you need for physical, you know, your time lost or, or equipment, that's one thing. But otherwise, you shouldn't take reward for it. Why? Because he says a mitzvah kavi. The Rush explains on the, the Gemara Nadarim, page 41b, that you're doing a mitzvah. And you can't take a, a reward for doing a mitzvah. Um, however, a veterinarian, he can take money because the veterinarian, that's not a mitzvah to, to heal the, the animals. The Rambam also in the parish of Mishnah is explaining the, the Mishnah on which the Gemara had commented in the chapter 4. The Rambam says as follows. Because so, it's a mitzvah. It's a chiyuv. Harofe minator l'rapos chol Yisrael. It's an obligation on the Jewish doctor to heal Jewish patients. The Zenichlal, and that's what it says, Vashivotolo. You should restore the lost objects to him. It says in Parsha Kitetse that you should restore lost objects to him, and you can interpret it to mean you should restore him to himself. Vashivotolo. You should return, restore him to him. In other words, you should heal him, make sure he doesn't lose his body um, when he is uh, in danger. You, if you can save him with your body, with your wisdom, with your money, you must save him. So the Ramam also mentions a chiyuv harofe, an obligation. Where's the source? Not the puzzle here. That's just the reshus. That's just permission. That's just that he has to, to make payments to the doctor. The source is restoring lost objects. If you, certainly, if you have to restore someone's cup when they lose a cup, you have to give it back to them. If, 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 you, need, if you can restore someone's life, then Allah has come. Certainly, you need to restore them. Uh, for sure. Rabbi Salvejic writes so beautifully um, about, about this topic. He says, look, we don't accept with complacency as a divine decree that there is illness. If there's illness, we have to fight it. He says, in fact, it's part of a general uh, fight against, against evil. We, ha- we can't just say, well, there's evil in the world. What can we do? No. We have to take an active role in fighting evil. We can't be pacifists when it comes to fighting evil. And therefore, we not only can man interfere with nature, but we should interfere and subdue the environment to our interests and needs. Allah idealizes scientific intervention on behalf of the man in his de- desperate struggle to control the environment at all levels. So the obligation to heal is part of our human mandate to be partners with God, to do what we can to make the world a better place, and to restore human beings to dignity, to health, if we can at all. There's one thing that there's permission is given to heal. You might have thought that we couldn't. There, it's, it's permitted. And the Gemara and the Mishnah and the Rosh and the Ramam explain it's also a mitzvah kavi. It's also a mitzvah as well of helping someone uh, to restore their lives. Those who are engaged in medicine should be rewarded greatly for this, this activity. This is a mitzvah. We can restore people's lives. It's a great calling. It's a wonderful mitzvah. It's a chiyuv. It's an obligation. And we we wish them continued success in developing medicine further to continue to help save lives. But one day, one day we'll get to a point where we won't need the doctors. God will remove illness from the face of the earth. Thanks for joining us here for a discussion of Parshat Mishpatim. Join us each week for a discussion of the Parsha, holidays, how-to videos. And thanks to Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. To learn more, visit asby.org.